In this video, I will show you how to install GameConfig for GTA 5 game. I will install GameConfig for GTA 5 version 2845. But in this way you can install GameConfig for other versions of GTA 5. GameConfig is needed for the game to work after adding new DLC. For example, after installing new cars in GTA 5 game. If you don't install GameConfig, then your GTA 5 won't work, it won't load story mode with mods. Therefore, in order for GTA 5 to work with mods, we need to install GameConfig. To install GameConfig, you need to download it from the GTA 5 mods website. I will leave a link to it in the description under the video, there will be many different versions available in the archive, so download this particular mod. We also need to download the OpenIV program, if it is not downloaded from the official site, then you can find it on other sites with mods for GTA 5. Then you need to download the pack file limit adjuster and HEP adjuster. We also download script hook 5 from the official site. After the download is complete, we need to open the GTA 5 game folder, where we have the GTA 5 application icon. Open the script hook 5 archive and open the bin folder. Copy the file dinput 8.dll and script hook 5.dll to the GTA 5 game folder. Open the pack file limit adjuster archive and copy all files except text files to the GTA 5 game folder. We also open the HEP adjuster archive and copy all files except text files to the GTA 5 game folder. After that, you can delete the three archives that we installed. We don't need them anymore. Next, we need to install the OpenIV program. To do this, run the OVA setup program and install it. We accept the terms of the program, the installation path does not need to be changed. Just go ahead and download additional files for the program to work. Next, launch the shortcut on the desktop, and select the version of Windows if we are using Windows. Then we simply indicate the path to the GTA 5 game, and click continue several times until the activation of the program begins. Next we turn on the edit mode button, because if it is disabled, then we will not be able to install the mod. Therefore, edit mode must be enabled during installation. After that, go to the tools section and go to ACI manager. Here we need to install everything, click on the install button. And after that we can close this window. Now we need to install the gameconfig file from the archive. Gameconfig must match the version of GTA 5. Which version of GTA 5, the same version you need to select GameConfig. Game version 2845 is the same as GameConfig version 2802. Because the new update 2845 did not add new DLCs to the GTA 5 game, the new update was added only to the update 2.rpf folder. Therefore, for version GTA 5 to 2845, you can use GameConfig 2802. But if you have an old version of GTA 5, then look for the game config for your version of GTA 5 in the older version folder. For version GTA 5 to 2845 you can use game config 2802. I always choose for a lot of mods and stock traffic. This game config needs to be installed through the OpenIV program. During installation, edit mode must be enabled. In the OpenIV program, you need to go to the update folder and update.rpf archive. Next, we need to click copy to the mods folder and we will be transferred to the mods folder. But if you already have a mods folder, then press the show in mods folder button. We continue to go further into the common and date folder. And in the date folder we simply copy the game config file, which is suitable for our version of GTA 5. That's all, the game config file is installed. After that, we can add new DLC mods, newer cars, and new real estate to the game. The game will run without errors. You can spawn new cars and play with other mods. I hope you enjoyed the video, also subscribe to the channel and like it. Thank you all for watching.